Good morning, welcome to Guernsey Salvation Army and to our weekly podcast. I don't know how it is for you, but when I was at school there always seemed to be arguments between friends. You're my best friend, one would say. No, he's my best friend, another would say, and so it went on. There was always someone very popular who people liked to be around and claim as their best friend. I look back over my life and can thank God for all of my true friends. They give the best friendship. They are amazing people and they all speak into my life and I value their friendship very dearly. And I hope that I am as good a friend to them as they are to me. There's a Christian song that is helpful to so many people. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. I haven't seen a bold promise of God's friendship put so bold as in the statement in the Bible, but we discover God's promise of friendship through the Bible as we see him invite us and all of humanity to be in his company and presence and know the qualities and characteristics of friendship between us. Of course, God is more than a friend to us, but it's his friendship and that personal encounter with him that helps us to discover all the other promises that he gives to us as well. Psalm 23 is a starting point in discovering how close God is. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God keeps his promises all of the time. For example, he promises never to leave us or forsake us. God promises to be with us when we are afraid. God promises to love us forever. God always keeps his promises all of the time. Our story today tells us of yet another promise God kept. It's a story that is so familiar that you could probably tell it to me. It's the story of Jesus and the children. God promises to be compassionate with his children, to love them and embrace them. When these children came to Jesus, they came in all sizes. They were big children and smaller children. Whatever the child's size or age, God promises to be that child's compassionate friend. And we are God's children, whatever our age, and he is our friend. Listen as John reads Mark chapter 10, Verses 13 to 16. One day some parents brought their children to Jesus so he could touch them and bless them. But the disciples scolded the parents for bothering him. When Jesus saw what was happening, he was angry with the disciples. He said to them, Let the children come to me. Don't stop them. For the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. I tell you the truth. Anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God like a child will never accept it. Then he took the children in his arms and placed his hands on their heads and blessed them. Amen. Thank you, John. 
Can you imagine the look on the disciples' faces when Jesus said, let the little children come to me? Can you imagine the joy on the mother's faces when Jesus said, let the little children come to me? Jesus was very busy. He had just fed 4,000 people and he, he had healed many people, a deaf and mute man a blind man, and a boy and a girl who were very troubled. Jesus was very busy, that's for sure, and he must have been very tired. Crowds of people were always around him, pressing him for attention, and then there were the people who always wanted to argue with Jesus, the Pharisees. Jesus was busy, Jesus was tired, but the parents of the little children wanted Jesus to meet their children. The mothers and fathers wanted Jesus to put his hands on their children to bless them. So when they saw that Jesus was in the neighbourhood, the parents gathered their children and brought them towards Jesus. Wait a minute, said Jesus' disciples. They scolded the parents for bothering Jesus with their children. He's too busy and too tired to see you or your children. Leave him alone. Go back where you came from now. I wonder how the mothers and fathers felt when they heard those harsh words. I wonder how the little children felt. Did they think Jesus was too busy, too tired to spend time with them? Words can hurt deeply, can't they? But Jesus heard the disciples' harsh words and he didn't like it one bit. In fact, he was angry with the disciples and he contradicted them and said, let the little children come to me. In fact, Jesus said to his disciples, you should be like these little children, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Then with his open arms and great compassion, Jesus gathered the little children to himself. He picked them up one by one. He looked kindly into each little face. He gently put his hands on each child's head. And then do you know what he did? He blessed them. Maybe he said something like this. I love you. You are my child. Or I will always be your friend. I am always with you. From what I understand of the Bible, Jesus was never too busy or too tired to have time for the children. Thankfully, Jesus is never too busy or too tired to have time for us. Jesus promises to be our compassionate friend and he proved how much he loves us. He died on the cross for us all. Jesus explains, greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. That's his promise of friendship to us, to be a friend, but more so to be our saviour, to love us, to be our Redeemer, Lord and King. What a friend we have in Jesus. That's the good news today. God promises to be our compassionate friend, no matter how old or young we are. And God keeps his promises all the time. Let us pray. God of eternity, our refuge and our hope from one generation to another, before the mountains rose from the sea, before the rivers carved out the valleys, you are God eternal. From dust we came, to dust we return. So, O oh Lord, you have ordered our ways. A thousand years in your sight are as yesterday. As a watch in the night comes quickly to an end, so the years pass before you like grass which in the morning is green and by evening is dried up and withered. The decades pass, a mere handful. We enjoy some vigour, but even that soon disappears. So much of our span is wearisomeness, full of labour and sorrow. O oh Lord, teach us to number our days and apply our hearts to wisdom. 
Turn again, O God, do not delay, give grace to your servants. Satisfy us with your loving kindness, grant us joy and gladness in our lives, give us gladness to make up for the times of suffering. Shower us with your grace, let your favour be upon us and prosper the work of your hands. Renew us in the grace of Jesus. Visit us with his spirit. Refresh our burdened hearts and restore our tired minds. We make our prayers in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. God bless you and thank you for joining us today. Thank you.